didn't have a lot of um, confidence that I was really good enough to really make it. That confidence came after I played a while and the big guys began wanting me to play with them. You know, Bud put me on that album and Miles, you know, asked me to join his band and all that. So then I realized, well, okay, I must have something that's okay and I better try to work on it and develop it. Your name appears, of course, on many, many classic records, starting actually in 48 and 49, 50. How do you see your work with Monk? As Coltrane said one time, if you miss a change with Monk's music, it's like stepping into an elevator shaft and it's empty, you know. The whole band would be there in Monk's small apartment rehearsing, you know, and uh, Monk would have what seemed to be way out stuff at that time, you know, and all the guys would look at it and say, Monk, we can't play this stuff. You can't make this on the trumpet and you can't play, the, you know, and all this stuff. And then it would end up, everybody would be playing it by the end of the uh, rehearsal, you know. Mm -hmm. What was that period like for you when you left the scene? My first really disappearance came around 59, and um, what was happening was this, Ben. I was getting a lot of play from people. Every place I went was Sonny Rollins, and you know, oh boy, he's the cat to see. Uh, which was good, except that I didn't have the feeling within myself that I was really able to put out what they expected from me. So that's what I did. I said, I'm going to lay off the scene, go back into the woodshed, and get these things together. And that's basically what that thing on the bridge actually was all about. Which bridge was it? The Manhattan Bridge? Well, actually, it was the uh, Williamsburg Bridge. The uh, pedestrian walk was just a much quieter place to play. So I'd go there at night, I'd go there in the daytime, or really any time I wanted to. And it was beautiful because you're playing against the air, you know, the sky. It was just a beautiful place to uh, practice a horn. It's a magical thing. You know, the keys are there on the piano, but what you do with them Tuesday night is going to be different than anything you could have thought about Sunday. So this is the magic of it, and uh, it's a beautiful life.